Welcome back to Car Talk. I'm Shantanu Lag, your host, and today we are spending time with the 2022 Maruti Suzuki XL6. Maruti Suzuki has been on a roll this year. They have launched numerous new cars, including the new Ertiga, which came to the market a few days ago. Following that, Maruti Suzuki has updated the Nexa XL6. At the first glance, you may not find a lot of changes in this car because they are not visible externally. However, if you stay with us for the next few minutes, we will talk about all the changes that the new XL6 gets, and believe me, it gets a lot of changes. So make sure that you stay tuned, comment below, and like the channel as well. Now, since we are standing outside the car, let's start talking with what all changes it has got. Let me take a walk around and show you all the changes in the new Maruti Suzuki XL6. Now, if you look at the face of the car, you will find that it looks fresher, and that's because Maruti Suzuki has updated. the front grille they have added more chrome to the front and it looks slightly more premium everything else including the fog lamp housing the headlamps the bumper the skid plate everything else remains the same but because of this little change it gets a fresher look the headlamps are full led so are the fog lamps just like before now if we come to the side we will find that maruti suzuki has added a newly designed alloy wheel and this is the machined alloy wheel with dual tone the size of the alloy wheel has also gone up with the last model maruti suzuki used to provide 15 inches and this one is 16 inches and because of the increase in the height the ground clearance has increased by slightly 8 mm now orvm remains the same it uh body colored and you also get the 360 camera module underneath this you get the chrome handlebars just like before and you get this roof rail as well there are no other changes on the side apart from the alloy wheels if we come to the rear there are more subtle changes that maruti suzuki has done now the shape of the t lamp it remains exactly like the previous version however maruti suzuki has added a smoked and the clear lens which adds a very very sporty feeling to this car the new xl6 also get a strip of chrome right here so overall maruti suzuki has done very subtle changes and they have also added the shark fin antenna for the first time in this car so with all the subtle changes it feels like that maruti suzuki has garnished the last night's food with a new thing so it looks much fresher however it gets a lot more changes inside the car so let's jump in and see what all changes that the new xl6 offers now dimension wise the new xl6 remains exactly the same as before which means the space inside remains exactly the same as you can see the boot space is same as before and it can have two uh, currently we have two bags here and it is almost full however if you're not traveling with all the rows occupied you can simply turn them down and convert into a flat bed which can hold a lot more luggage now let's check inside what the new xl6 offers the access to the third row seats they remain the same so you open the door it's not one touch tumble down so you will have to pull this lever the seat reclines and then you have to bring it forward and this is the only space you get to access the third row seats there are no changes in the third row seat the passengers who will be traveling there will not find any difference between the last xl6 and the new xl6 so let's go to the middle row seat and check out what new it offers now the second row space it remains exactly the same as before the occupants who will be sitting here will not find many changes you still get the roof mounted ac unit you get perforated leather seats with the armrest but there are no cup holders in between you get bottle holders on the side and you get a charging point 12 volt charging point right here both the seats in the rear have pockets which you can use to keep your phones and other essential items while traveling now a lot of people have been asking why the new xl6 doesn't come with six airbags now maruti suzuki says to add six airbags which will be curtain airbags they will have to change the whole roof line and move the ac unit to somewhere else which is a major major task and it would have taken a lot of r&d and cost inputs that's why the new maruti suzuki xl6 only comes with four airbags the additional airbags they are mounted on the front seats uh, on the front two seats and they open from the side of the uh, seats 
Apart from that, there are no changes in the middle row seat. So let's jump to the front seat because that's where all the changes are done. Now the front seats are where you get to see most of the changes in the new XL6. You get a familiar dashboard. However, Maruti Suzuki has changed the insert, which makes it look refreshed, look very premium than before. In the center, the seven inch touchscreen unit remains the same. The size remains the same. However, it gets a many more additional features. For example, Maruti Suzuki has now added the Suzuki Connect. You can access the Suzuki Connect through your mobile phone and Alexa devices, and you can control a number of features, including the climate control system, engine start stop, the location of the car, the fuel level, and host of such features. It also recognizes your voice now. So you just have to say, hi Suzuki, and it will start working working for your commands. Apart from that, if we come to the front of the car, the instrument cluster, it remains the same. There are no changes uh, around it. You got a flat bottom steering wheel with silver insert and the multifunctions button all around. Since this is an automatic variant, you also get the paddle shifters. Uh, coming back to the screen again, you get two new features apart from the Suzuki Connect, which are the TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system and 360 degree camera, just like the Baleno and it works really, really well. So while parking the car in cramped spaces or going through narrow streets, this will be very, very useful. So Maruti Suzuki has not added anything else apart from that. You still get the manual ORVM and uh, there is no sunroof like before. You get a glass holder above. These lights are not LEDs. These are halogen bulbs. One of the convenient features that Maruti Suzuki has added with the new XL6 are these new seats. The front seats, they now get perforated leather and they are cooled as well. So you can control the level of cooling from the buttons right here and it throws cold air during the hot days and it makes you feel very pleasurable like it is doing right now during the summer weather. Uh, you get little space around here. There is no wireless phone charger. You get two cool cup holders here. Uh, this is an automatic transmission so you get the new gear lever you get small space around here so there is no dirt of space you still get bottle holders a uh, lot of space around the uh, door handles so if you're driving the new xl6 you will not find that it lacks space you even get the glove box and it's quite big it uh, it is not cooled however it can take uh, items which are as big as this box and it fits comfortably now coming to the safety features maruti suzuki has added four airbags to the car so in total there are now four airbags the front two seats get side airbags which adds more safety to the front drivers now there is esp there is tpms there is hill control and a lot of passive features added to the car as well so that's about it from the interiors from the feature front from the safety front now let's take a drive of the car and see, check out how the new engine performs. Now let's talk about the biggest update of the new Maruti Suzuki XL6, which lies under the hood. It is still powered by the 1.5 liter engine as before. However, this is a new generation engine, which gets dual jet, which means there are two injectors per cylinder, which increases the fuel efficiency. Another thing that increases the fuel efficiency is the SHVS mild hybrid technology. Now Maruti Suzuki sees that they have increased the size of the battery. Thus, while the engine is accelerating, it adds an additional push. This reducing the load on the engine and increasing the fuel efficiency. By how much? Well, Maruti Suzuki claims with the manual variant, the new XL6 returns a maximum of 20.97 kmpl. While with the automatic variant that we are driving right now, it returns a phenomenal 20.57 kmpl, which is quite exceptional for an automatic transmission. Now, there is only a small gap between the manual and automatic, and uh, with a difference of 1.5 lakh, I think a lot of customers will choose the automatic over the manual. Now, let's talk about the behavior of the engine, how it works, how different it is from the last generation engine. So, the new 1.5 liter dual jet engine, it's very smooth, it gets a loads of low end torque. 
currently we are doing around 80 on the highway and I can see that the odometer sorry the tachometer it is showing that the engine uh, engine is doing below 2000 rpm which is keeping it very relaxed so even if I want to overtake other vehicles on the highway I just need to tap on the accelerator the gear shift happens very quickly and you can overtake very quickly so there are no complaints there about the gear shift speeds or the smoothness from the transmission there is loads of torque as well however the new engine it generates a maximum power of 103 ps and peak torque of 136.8 nm so you might feel that it is not generating enough power but once you start driving it once you get used to it you will feel that there is ample power to drive on the highways as well on the city road now coming back to the transmission i want to say that it's a big big leap from the four speed transmission that we used to get with the xl6 and a lot of other maruti suzuki models the new six speed top converter it also gets paddle shifters and it works very well it works very smoothly and you do not feel any kind of lag while driving this car uh, in the slow traffic i must say that the transmission is so well the crawl mode works so well that you do not need to even tap the accelerator even once the car starts moving as soon as you lift your foot from the uh, brake paddle and it's not a very very difficult thing to drive now this is the one of the best transmission and engine options that i have seen in any maruti suzuki car till now especially the automatic ones uh, coming to the manual we drove the manual as well uh, the usual things the clutch remains very light you can slot the transmission in uh, all the five gears very well there are no lags in it as well so it's the usual maruti suzuki transmission you do not find anything different because of the new engine you might find it uh, very well uh, ridden in the slower speeds apart from that i must say the comfort of the xl6 has increased and that's mainly because of the seats because there are not many changes in the suspension or the platform of this car so it's very comfortable you get uh, good side bolsters which hugs your body even while you're taking high speed corners so it works uh, it does the job very well uh, the suspension are tuned extremely well so even if you're going through a very bad patch of road you do not feel much of it filtering inside the cabin and you do not feel like uh, much is happening under the car even when you're taking pothole roads and speed breakers at good speed and since maruti suzuki has increased the ground clearance by a slight bit it doesn't you don't have to care much about going over the speed breakers or any of the bad road surfaces as well now coming to the handling it remains almost the same the there's still bit amount of body roll which is very very common for cars of this size and this height so we can't do any complaint there it's a family uh, muv a family suv as maruti suzuki likes to call it so uh, no complaints about the handling too. Now with the 2022 Maruti Suzuki XL6, the price have increased, especially because Maruti Suzuki now only offers the new XL6 with the fully loaded variants. There are three variants now, the basic one being the Zeta manual, which now cost 11.29 lakh ex showroom, and the top end being the Alpha Plus, which gets dual color and it's a new variant as well. The top end variant, the automatic version it cost 14.39 lakhs now all the three trims they are available with the automatic transmission and the cost of the automatic variants compared to the manual variants is 1.5 lakh more with the fuel efficiency that the xl6 returns both with the manual and the automatic we feel that this is the safest choice in the segment especially because the service network of maruti suzuki the reliability and also the maintenance cost a lot of buyers will be inclined towards a new xl6 because of the fuel efficiency and we feel the likes of the karens and the marazzo will get the second seat what do you think about the new xl6 how much do you like the car? What updates do you like the best about this car? Do let us know in the comment section and also let us know which features you would have loved to see on the new car. As always, do not forget to subscribe to the Car Talk channel. Do press the like button and do not forget to wear the seatbelts whenever you are driving the car.